Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay. Okay, I'll do it slowly, all right? Yes, Ritu, because, you know, uh, since my yesterday, you know, right, my system had the problem. So, I'm taking the team viewer console and, you know, can maximize the font. Okay, let me check what can be done. Is this okay? See, what you can do is on your uh, system, there is a zoom button, okay? You can click on the zoom and then, you know, you can zoom my screen. Okay. What everybody do is, there is a zoom option, okay? In your um, WebEx, sorry, in your GoToMeeting, click on that and then zoom the screen. Okay, everybody? It is on the top right, uh, top left corner. Do you see in the top left corner there is something called a zoom. So you got to use that zoom and zoom my screen. Okay. So whatever settings you have made, it depends on that. Okay. My font size here, it doesn't depend on my computer. It depends on your computer. Okay. Everybody? Fine. So let me quickly record it again. Go to the new test. And then I click on the record button. Windows application. Click on OK. Okay, now do you see I have to scroll down? Then I go to the programs. QTP. Sample application flight. Okay, and then I type in as Priya. And then I enter Mercury and then click on OK button. So it is logging into the application. Then I enter the date of flight as usual. Then select the flight that you want. Click from the flight to then select the flights button and then start entering the name. Okay. I can enter many names like, you know, Ritu, then Priya, then Jyoti. Okay, I can enter many names over here because all of them want to travel. Now we can insert the checkpoint. How do we insert the checkpoint? So here we have the insert button and then the checkpoint. We have the different types of checkpoint. Okay, so take the checkpoint over here that is text and then select it do you see win edit name is got selected and then click on ok do you see here all the names are getting recorded click on ok it will get added another checkpoint that I want to insert checkpoint and then text area checkpoint I can select any part of the text Okay, and then click on OK. Means I want to find out whether Priya is traveling or not. Alright, then I click on OK. 
Okay, Prakriti, I think, you know, I'm doing it very slowly because you wanted the repetition, right? Okay, everybody? Fine. And then, I just click on the close. So, I've inserted two checkpoints. Alright. So, here is my QTP and then I open it. So, do you see there are two checkpoints that we have recorded over here? Can you see? These are the two checkpoints. Alright. We have the text checkpoint and then text area checkpoint. So, text checkpoint means it selects the entire text that is present in the text box. And then we have the next one which is text area which can select any part of the text box. Okay. This is the difference. Now, there is another checkpoint which is the standard checkpoint which can be inserted from the active screen over here. Let's say I want to insert a checkpoint on this London. So, to insert a checkpoint on the London, Right click on London and then say insert standard checkpoint. Okay, the first option that you get. Alright. And then click on OK button. We can select any of these. But I am interested in the items count because I want to know how many cities are getting loaded. Click on OK. Checkpoint is inserted. Okay. So why we are doing this is Swarna basically. Okay. To tell you the real reason, you know, it is the feature of the QTP that we have. That's why, you know, we got to know it. But in the real-time application, it is not used. Okay, very less it is used or sometimes it is not even used. Okay. It is just going to, you know, check the property and then the values of the application. It could be any functionality, okay. Like uh, we saw the text box, it has a text functionality. And then a combo box, it has the list functionality. So there are, you know, different kinds of checkpoints that you can insert. Okay. Clear everybody? So the three checkpoints are inserted. What are they? The first one is text. And then we have the next one, which is text area. Yes, Anita, I'm getting my message. I'm getting your messages, okay? Then we have text area. And after that, we have the standard checkpoint. These are the three checkpoints, okay? Let's quickly run it. Okay, what I can do is, I can set the size of this. Maybe that is... Uh, Okay, now you will be able to see the entire screen, okay? So, what you do is, if it is like, you know, very much small font for you, make sure you zoom it, okay? It is under your control how you want to see my screen, okay? So, there is a zoom button in your corner. I mean, in the corner of your page, click on that and zoom my screen, okay? Everybody? All right? Okay, then. So now we will run this quickly. Select the temporary, run results and then click on OK. So do you see we have three checkpoints over here and all three of them have passed. Can you see here? three checkpoints and then all of them have passed. So you can click on this and then we have the name checkpoint. On the name we have put the text checkpoint so it is checking the all values that are present and then we have the fly from. It is the standard checkpoint which is checking whether the number of options that are available in the fly from is equal to 10 or not. Okay, then we have the next one, 
which is on the uh, order information this is again the text area checkpoint do you see only part of the text is getting selected okay everybody this is a first set of checkpoint clear okay then the next thing this time we will go for a web application okay till now we have only recorded the windows application right so let's see how to record the web application so for that again we got to go to new file and then uh, okay before that i go to the, go to the automation and then here okay everything is fine okay instead of mercury tours and travels let me put some other application okay which has lot of tables and then you know pages on it sure bharti i will go slow okay okay give me a moment okay sorry i muted myself by mistake okay i'm just searching you know if there are any um yeah page um, lot of tables you know with the page that has lot of tables no no, no the system has not hung okay i'm i've not shared my screen okay one second i'm searching some page wherein you know there are lot of tables okay lavanya she is saying she is student loans can you send the link lavanya okay okay dinesh yeah dinesh has a salary calculator dinesh are there tables on this uh, okay yeah i think yeah there are tables on this page okay we will go with this then all right so we have the lot of tables over here let me copy it and then i'll use it let me share my screen okay so i paste it here and then we click on apply we click on okay so i'm just you know setting this record and run settings over here go to the record and run setting and then add the salary calculator over here which has many pages okay and then i click on okay now if you start clicking on the record then automatically the page has to open for you so do you see it is automatically opening the page for me now i go to the qtp i want to insert the table checkpoint table is what again it is a standard checkpoint so click on that let's wait for the table to appear yes the table has appeared here and then we click on this table okay let me insert it again go to the qtp i cancel this insert checkpoint standard checkpoint then i try to click anywhere within this table so do you see we have the table that has got selected so we have the yearly table and when we have the salary table over here i select this yearly table and then click on okay button okay okay one second i'll do one thing i'll you know close and reopen it
ओके गिव मी अ मोमेंट लेट मी क्लोज एंड रीओपन ओके So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.